In the first inning, Max Scherzer got in a bit of trouble but escaped the jam with that combination of pitches. Really good. One goes straight, one falls. In the second inning, he went up top, he went up top, and then he went down. And that's a really nice combination of pitches as well. This breakdown is brought to you by DraftKings. After the second inning, he walks off the mound, he goes up to the umpire, and then he's going to tell you what happened. So after the second inning, uh, you know, my hand – it was a little clumpy uh, from the rosin and sweat that it was clumpy and Phil was, told me to wash off. So I washed it off. You know, I wash it with alcohol. You know, the alcohol for a little bit there can be sticky if, in rosin. It, that can happen. So he was like, that's too sticky. You need to go back on there, wash it off again and reapply uh, the rosin. And so I did that. And then at the same time, he thought my glove had too much rosin on it. And I was like, okay, if that's a problem, you know, there's, there's nothing going on. It, you know, he's like, you need a new glove. Like, okay. Okay, so he comes back out with a new glove. He says, hey, man, I'm sorry, man. Uh, I'm, just, I'm sorry. I'm just hyped up when I'm pitching. Phil Cuzzy throws his glove back at him and says, get after it. In the third inning, he gets a pop-up, and then curveball for strike one on the foul, up top for strike two, down low, freezes him for strike three, and then he's going to get J.D. on a little jam shot, throw to first. Alonzo grabs it. Hello, ball. Pitch a third. And knew I was going to get checked in the fourth. So I'd have to be an absolute idiot to do, try to do anything when I'm coming back out for the fourth. I wash my hand with alcohol in front of the official. I then apply a rosin, and then I grab sweat. I then go back out there, and Phil Cuzzy says that my hand's too sticky. This is rosin, bro. I'd tell you if it wasn't rosin. Why would I let you fucking see it? Are you shitting me? Why would I fucking? Uh... This is just rosin and sweat. Rosin and sweat. I promise. This is rosin and sweat. I promise on my fucking life that is literally rosin. It's rosin and sweat. I know. Why would I even do it? Why am I not good? Why? It's rosin. I know. It's rosin and sweat. I promise you on my life. I promise you. Danny, I know, but it's rosin. Uh, I don't know. It feels really sticky. He's like, yeah, it's sticky. That's what it does. This is nothing. It's rosin and sweat. Don't you know what rosin and sweat does? There's no way. No, no way. No way. There's no fucking, no way. That's rosin and sweat. Uh, there's no way. Right? Um, well, um. Right, Buck? Right, Buck? Well, uh, it's rosin and sweat. Huh. Walks to the dugout. You feel it's, ro it's just rosin and sweat. Yeah, that's what I feel. Anyone else want to feel this? Anyone hey, guys, guys, guys. Umpire Dan Bellino to pool reporter. As far as stickiness, level of stickiness, this was the stickiest that has been since I've been inspecting hands, which now goes back three seasons. <laughs> Scherzer was adamant that it was just sweat and rosin. Umpire Phil Cousins said, I said this to Buck and to Max. It really doesn't matter what it is. All we know that it was far stickier than anything that we've felt certainly today and anything this year. Umpire Dan Bellino went on to say there was something likely more than rosin. You know, I wash it with alcohol. It was so sticky. It was all over the palm, up the inside of the fingers. The entire hand was stickier than anything we'd inspected before. You know, the alcohol for a little bit there can be sticky if, in rosin. It, that can happen. And was worse than the second inning when he was told to wash his hand. I washed my hand with alcohol in front of the official. Guys, it might be that you made him wash his hands with alcohol and they got stickier because of the alcohol. I also think it's very weird that pitchers don't use the rosin bag on the mound. I don't know if they've always used rosin bags in the dugout or this is just a pitch clock thing to keep it quicker. But in the first inning, that bag on the right, which is Scherzer's, just never gets moved. The second inning never gets moved. Third, it never gets moved. So I don't know. Maybe pitchers have always been applying rosin in the dugout and not on the mound. But I never knew that. But also seems a lot like it was the alcohol wash his hands with thanks DraftKings for sponsoring the video appreciate you as always thank you to baseball for having ridiculous rules and ridiculous enforcements of them